Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to another Hamilton mixtape reaction. Today we are doing It's Quiet Uptown, uh, one of the most emotional songs on the uh, on this album. Uh, Honestly, when I when I first heard the original, like when I heard these things in succession, I was like, yeah, it was it was stinking sad. It was very very sad. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to hearing Kelly Clarkson's take on it. Um, you know, she's got a crazy voice, and she's usually really good at putting emotion in her voice and in her singing. So I'm really curious to see how she's going to do this. As always, if you're new to the channel, you hit the subscribe button and help this channel grow. It would mean a lot to me. And if you have any requests, you can text me two different numbers. By the way, also, for, since we're talking about Hamilton, uh, if you want to see the full Hamilton reaction, if you have not seen that yet, it is now on Patreon. You can check it out, the full-length thing, uh, so you can see that. There's a couple different versions of the, of the Patreon. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. This is It's Quiet Uptown. So it's interesting, I gotta say, I actually, this one has a bit more of a pop sound to it because it almost has this this synth sound going down, the da 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 which we're very used to hearing, but it's it's on, we usually hear it on the piano. You can also hear that it has some sort of like attack to it, like where it's, it sounds like it's sliding up to the notes. There are moments that the words don't reach. There is suffering too terrible to name. You hold your child as tight as nice. you can. You listen to the sweet reverb that comes on with her vocals. Really, really nice. This this song fits her voice really well. And push away the unimaginable. The moments when you're in so deep. Feels easier to just swim down. And so they move uptown and learn to live with the unimaginable. Nice. That rhythm is crazy. Let me listen. Let's rewind that. That rhythm is nice. Move uptown. You can hear that there's some strings and some other elements start opening up, filters start opening up, giving a brighter sound, saying, hey, we're going to move into this next section. We're going to transition into this next section. And learn to live with the unimaginable. That is sweet rhythm. Wow, you hear the ton of reverb that goes on in that, that certain hit on the drums. That's nice. I spend hours in the garden. I walk alone to the store. And this quiet uptown. I never liked the quiet before. I take the Wow, so it's a really interesting take. Honestly, it, it, it take, I, I personally feel like it takes away from some of the emotion from it. Which is interesting that to see, you know, actually this is very interesting because it brings up the question of of how uh, much production affects the the sound of the song or the emotion of the song. You know, you could have these lyrics, what and the same lyrics, but it, when you put them behind a different production of the song or a different arrangement, it totally changes the feel of it. Very interesting. Um, I was gonna say something else. I don't remember what I was gonna say though. Never. Oh, listen to that. So, can you hear the side chain that's going on with this? The there's like this synth that's pulsing in the background, giving this really cool movement to it. But like the quiet before, I take the children to church on Sunday. It's emphasizing two and four, one and two. Uh, actually, it's one and three, one and two and three and da 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 da. A sign of the cross at the door, and I pray. This is a very interesting rendition. It actually has a very cinematic feel to it. So I feel like this one could do really well inside of a movie where like, you know, because I feel like Hamilton did a really good job at portraying the sounds of a lot of like, you know, like they would change the piano sound, give an old time ragtown piano kind of sound uh, to give it like, you're, like you feel like you're in the 1700s, for, even though they used hip hop at some points, you kind of like give that feel. This is a lot more of a pop sound. You feel like you're more modern. I could feel this filmed, see this like in a film filmed really well like in like a modern kind of setting like they're walking down a modern street in uptown new york you know with taxis going by and like with this kind of sound this, this kind of cinematic
Look at where we I gotta say, before we even get into the next thing, I really like how he... I wonder who... I, did the Roots do this too? But I wonder... I like how they um, mix these synth sounds with the strings and stuff. It's really cool co uh, contrast between the two. Look at where we are Look at where we started I know I don't deserve you it's amazing how they put that piano so far in the background, giving a really cool background sound to it. Out, that would be enough if I could spare his life, if I could trade his life for mine. He'd be standing here right now, and you would smile, and that would be enough. I don't pretend to know. Nice, going to that minor kind of feel to it. That's pretty cool. The challenges we're facing I know there's no replacing What we've lost And you need time But I'm not afraid I know who I marry Just let me stay here by your side it's interesting. So there's something called the law of first mention, which is like the first time you hear something, it kind of sticks with you. And now that I've heard the original version, everything you hear kind of has to go con like compared to that. And it, it's very interesting to hear a different take and on that it. Would be Those layered vocals are really nice. Pan left and right. Those are really nice. Almost sounds like the piano has a low pass filter on it. Very interesting. There's a grace too powerful tonight. We push away what we can never understand. We push away the unimaginable. They are nice. standing in the garden. I like that that melt I think she's hitting the two on that note on the garden. Standing there side by side. She takes his hand. She's got a great way of using her voice because she can use she can hit some really belting notes, but she could also like go really nice head voice. Can you imagine forgiveness? Can you imagine? This is like the radio version, movie version of this, isn't it? That was really, really cool, man. I very much enjoyed that. That was very different, though. I gotta say, it had a very, very different feel, and it definitely begs the question of like, what is a uh, like a, how the, how the, the the production affects the sound? Very, very interesting. Very cool to hear these these big art, I get quote unquote big artists um, do these versions. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, you can hit that subscribe button if you did help this channel grow. And the more that it grows, the more I can focus on these YouTube videos. So, if you want to check out my music, it means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.